your career cut short at the age of 28 after suffering not one, not two, but eight concussions as an Australian rules football player, Kobe, your story wasn't and very much isn't done. Rather, a new chapter has now started. Tell us about your mission to raise awareness for brain injury detection and treatment and the film project Thrive that came to be. Yeah, thanks for having me. i um, very grateful. Um, Thrive come about, obviously, uh, it's been really a culmination of the last three years of my journey since I retired from professional sport. Um, obviously, my career, my dream career as an AFL football was cut short at tender age of 28, which was quite a big deal here in Australia. You know, another young uh, sports person's career is cut short by TBI, which is becoming a really common issue. Um, I think in the States, like, you know, every 11 seconds, there is a traumatic brain injury. And, you know, I, I went through a range of really bad problems, whether it was, you know, physically with my balance and or speech. Um, emotionally, um, I had, you know, I couldn't even get off of bed without passing out because of my heart rate would skyrocket as soon as I stood up. And I don't know whether it was the determination or competitive nature of being an elite sportsman, but um, or growing up and doing lots of different sports like surfing and all these sort of different sports, I didn't want to see myself stuck in that hole. And I really, um, I, I traveled the world trying to find the best treatment. And I was lucky enough to be pointed in the right direction by some incredible functional neurologists in the States. Um, and I think it was about after six months, I started to get healthy again. Mm -hmm. And really that's when I retired. And I think I was quite lost because I had no purpose. And um, I escaped and I went overseas to Indonesia and tried to run away from, you know, this lack of purpose and these anxieties I had around the future. And I went to Indonesia and just surfed. And I knew that I had to make a pretty radical change in that I was masking, you know, the problems that I had deep down. And I met a young kid who was introduced to me by a friend and he had been really struggling with TBI issues for three years and he tried to take his own life um, and pretty much just told me that, you know, he didn't want to be here. And that really, that really rocked me. And I said, look, I think we can find you the right help. And, you know, within three months, he was back to living a normal life. And I remember he come up to me and hugged me and cried and said, you know, you saved my life. And <clears throat> for me, that was one of the biggest, it's probably really an epiphany that was like, wow, like, you know, I did really nothing. I just got this kid the right help. How many more people are dealing with this issue and don't know where to go? And, you know, myself being a creative my whole life, it was like, well, the only real way I know how to do this is by storytelling. And mm -hmm. I set out on this journey to shoot a feature film. And, you know, this is where we're at now. And we're finally about to kick off production in something that is going to be incredibly uh, rewarding and incredibly helpful for, you know, millions of people around the globe. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, and, and so one thing there, there was a, a few quotes I, I read of yours and one of them in your words, Kobe, our end goal is to provide an incredible cinematic experience that offers the keys to revealing the sweetness yeah. of life at the worst and the best of times through an emotional film that reveals how it is now possible to positively rewrite one's life script post-traumatic brain injury. You know, it's easy to see the sweetness of life when it's at its best, but yeah. when it's at its worst, it's a bit more difficult. So I would love to hear from you a personal example of a win yeah. that you were able to find when things were at their worst. Well, I think, you know, like TBI is a huge issue and a, a range of issues come from TBI, but a lot, of, a lot of the things that TBI suffer is experiences, you know, mental health issues, whether it be anxiety, depression, or whatever it is, or, you know, just trying to get back on their feet. They're, they're not just TBI issues, they're, they're everyday issues. That's what people deal with. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to become really close friends with um, Kevin Pierce and Owen Wright. Um, both went through a lot worse than I did. Uh, Kevin Pierce was one of the best snowboarders in the world in 2011, and he, um, you know, hit his head on the pipe preparing for the Olympics. And, you know, Kevin was in a vegetable state for like, you know, a couple of years. And, you know, his film, The Crash Reel, showed what he went through. And at the end of that film, 
the glory for Kev was just being able to stand on a snowboard again, but it didn't really, he wasn't really well again. And for Owen, he, you know, he went through a similar thing. He hit his head at Pipeline in 2015 and was in a way worse condition than I did, was also. And, you know, he's come back to win the Olympic medal this year, which was just an incredible, incredible feat. Um, so, you know, this film is a culmination of those three journeys. Um, and when we say cinematic experience, it's like, you know, we're going to be shooting in the back country of Wyoming, seeing Kev do his thing again. And, you know, bringing myself and Owen and Kev together. And um, really, it's like I said, it's been a combination of those three journeys coupled with incredible science, incredible in doctors from, you know, functional neurology, alternative medicine, that are really bringing together a film that is not going to only just help TBI sufferers, but it's going to help people who are going through hard times. You know, for Kevin, one of the biggest things that helped him was mindfulness and meditation. And it was really being able to let, you know, let stuff go. And so this film is, you know, it's a combination of, like I said, an incredible journey of three guys who eventually become friends and went through a similar thing and been able to get back on, you know, and winning at life again. And um, plus a combination of um, incredible insights from doctors and the functional neurology around why, why our brains are able to heal. You know, the last 15 years of science has showed us that our brains can heal. And a lot of people still don't know that. You can change the way your brain you know works and the way it heals and i think that is going to be an incredible feat for anyone to watch it and see that you know anything is possible and how incredible we are as humans to be able to do that well that's i mean that's um inspiring um on, on just a number of levels um you know with the trauma that you sustained kobe when you first received your diagnosis um what was the first thing that gave you hope then? And what is it that gives you hope now? Um, I didn't have hope for a long time. I think for, you know, a good four or five months, I was going from doctor to doctor and things were getting no better. Um, it was when I met an incredible um, doctor by the name of Brett Jarros, who also treated um, Owen Wright. Um, he was able to show me through different um, technologies that exactly what was going on with my brain and where it was injured. Um, we were able to work out a really significant plan for me to be able to, an individualized plan to, to heal my brain and to get it back to, you know, an elite athlete. Mm -hmm. And um, that took time and it took a lot of hard work. But I remember when he was able to show me exactly what was going on with my brain, um, I knew that I wasn't going crazy. And the one thing with this injury is that you can't see it and you feel embarrassed you know you can you can show a broken arm you can show um a broken leg you can show that to people but with tbi it is a hidden issue that is really it's it's taking people's lives and um without the right help and without the right guidance it can be really devastating and we've seen that um and that's why i think it's important to be able to show people that there is something you can do Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if it's not, if it's not, say it's like a forest, you know, a tree that falls and if no one sees or hears, you know, it, it's the same sort of thing with us. Like if no one can see it and hear it, like, does it exist? Yes, it does. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, exactly. you know so, so being uh, an advocate for yourself as a patient um, to seek not just treatment for the symptom. Yeah for a cure for the trauma, what advice, everything you've been through, what advice do you have for those who haven't yet found an answer for a condition that, that they're dealing with? Yeah, I think, look, you gotta be open-minded and I'm very open-minded in life. And, you know, I'm a big advocate of just seeing people be successful and live an incredible life. You know, whatever makes you happy, go after it. And issues like this is stopping people from living that purpose, um, whether it's mental health or it's TBI or whatever. But I think I was very open-minded and determined to get out of the hole I was in. And I know Kevin and Owen were, were exactly the same, whether that's the competitive nature of sports people, I don't know. But um, I was very, you know, headstrong on getting well again and wanting to, you know, live a fulfilling life. and. I think you'd be open-minded because, you know, I sourced lots of different doctors. I tried lots of different diets. I even tried alternative medicine like medicinal cannabis. Um, and I found what worked and some things work better for others. And that's the whole thing around this, this film is that 
um, we're not saying that one thing's right. We're not saying that functional neurology or alternative medicine is exactly what you need to do. But here is some tools that we've used to get through it and we'll show the world that. Um, and I think one thing with, you know, medicine and alternative medicine and everything these days is that you have to be very careful around, you know, everyone has an agenda or everyone has something different to say about, you know, different things. And we're looking at this from, a, you know, that perspective also, but we're just trying to tell the story of, you know, guys who, and women and, um, you know, everyone else that has gone through something bad and been able to get on, on their feet again, because I think the world needs it right now. Mm -hmm. I very much agree. Well, thank you so much. Um, the trailer in itself is 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 beautiful and inspiring. So the whole entire film, once complete, I'm just beyond excited to see. And thank you for doing the work that you're doing um, to help people understand they're not alone in this and that there is a way, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And thank you so much for helping all of us just become a bit more aware now. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's uh, I'm looking forward to the partnership and going forward with you guys. It's going to be awesome. Super, super excited. Thank you so very much.